Hello, here's Christoph, and I have a new material for you today. This time it's a bubble, a soap bubble material. You can use the material in uh, Blender, and um, yeah, I will explain you here what is it good for. So you, you see it's good for soap bubbles, but you can also use it for glass elements. If you like a colorful glass, you can set the value a bit down and see it in glass objects. This here is a test object for bubbles, for soap bubbles. This uh, here is a render on the right side, a final rendering, where you can see the nice effects. And here we can see my test object where I am rendering my uh, material. Uh, and here below you see the node tree where we, where we can uh, see the settings here, uh, how, um, which, which we'll explain today by me. Okay. I will switch first the preview on and then I will explain you what you can do with this material. Actually, this material here is a group, it's a node group. So if you go uh, into the groups, you can do it by pressing the top key on your keyboard and you will see all the nodes that are needed to create the nice effect here that can be seen here. So you can see all the nodes I've used and if you like, you can change my tree here and uh, yeah, set uh, the values to your, to your, for your needs if you like, but I think um, it looks all, already very nice here. But come, we come back to the main settings here and I would like to explain you what happened if you change these settings. So we have uh, four settings at all. Um, uh, we have four settings, the soap intensity, the soap, soap oil scale, the index of refraction, and a uh, bubble main color. So I am starting with the soap intensity. The soap intensity uh, gives you the intensity of the colorful elements here on this object. So at the moment it's set to 0.5, which means it's 50% viewed or can be seen by 50%. When I set it to zero, you see nothing. The effect will be switched off and you see a glass object. In this case, it's not really a glass, it's a different refraction. So I come to the third value here, the index of refraction. It's set to 1.325, what means the element here is water and not glass if you like you uh, it have uh, if you like to have it as uh, like glass you can change this value here i will show you how to do it or what 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 happen um, my object here um, has a thickness a wall thickness in the surface so this is the reason is easy because this here is uh, 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 should be simulated or uh, uh, um, a soap bubble should have to be simulated and I've, I've, I gave the, this object a thickness so we can see it here in the, in the modifier tab the object has a subsurface modifier and a solidify modifier and this solidify modifier gives it a thickness and in this case the thickness is 0.1 millimeters when I switch this modifier off so we can see it looks like a water drop or a water bubble because this value is uh, for water so when I ch change it to 1.5 I will get glass and it looks like a bit uh, more like normal glass so you see you can use this material too for nice glass effects but um, every one of you can do glass so the interesting thing here is this soap intensity when I set it to 0.1 so you can see very slightly some colors here appearing on the on the borders and you see a very nice glass with nice colorful effects so I switch my my thickness back and I switch my intensity to 0.5 for example if you want more intensity, you can set it to one. One is the most uh, or the highest value. So you see the, the effect is very, very intensive and you see it here. And one is the highest value that can be used here. And then we have the soap oil scale. Soap oil scale, what, I, what do I mean? Um, for me, the soap oil effect is this here, these clouds. You see them maybe in my, in my video. You see these colorful rainbow effects here. And they change over the whole object. 
in the soap oil scaling the, is the size, how big these clouds are. So the lower the value, the bigger the clouds appear. When I set it, for example, to 10, then I see a lot of small clouds appear. So this value can be used, if you like, to change the tiling or the or the, the cloud effect. If you want to have a finer structure, a more detailed structure, you can do it here in the scaling. My default value is 2, and uh, this depends, of course, of, uh, of the size of the object. This object, for example, is, uh, I don't know, 10, 10, 10 centimeters uh, big, so it's not very big. And if you have uh, bigger objects in your world, so you may change the oil scale here a bit to, to get a better effect. So these are the three upper settings here. But sometimes it could be you want to change the, the color of the, of the main color of my of the object. So as you see, my object is uh, nice and looks uh, colorful, but it's clear. So the clearness or this clear color came from the bubble main color option. Here you can change the color to dark to, to black, for example, and it became more intensive or white and it gets brighter. My, my default value is gray, 0.5 gray. Um, but the most interesting here is you can change the color, for example, to green, and also the whole bubble became green. So the interesting thing is if you in, uh, if you increase the soap intensity, so you have a nice bubble effect on a colored object. So you can choose uh, different colors, red, uh, and 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 if you like blue and so on. And the effect, the the soap effect here stays. So you have the possibility to, uh, to, to use this value to make very nice effects. If you like, you can, of course, switch or put in here a texture and, and you can use this texture to make a very colorful uh, model. So I, maybe I may change, I ch um, sorry for my English, I come from Germany, so sometimes I have some problems. So if you like to put here a texture in, I will do it, for example, I put a magic texture in it. The default magic texture has a lot of colors. So you can put the texture into this ball and you see you have a different, a lot of colors here that uh, are used in the, in the ball. So if you change the depth, for example, to four, it became different and uh, you can change the scale to two and you have a very colorful object if you like. So you are not forced to use a magic texture. Of course, you can use your own texture that you have painted and so on. So you see this uh, note here is very flexible to make nice colored bubbles. And yeah, I hope you like it. Um, maybe a last note. As always, you can download my material in my Gumroad shop. Uh, visit my website or my YouTube channel to get into the shop. Um, on my YouTube channel, you have a small icon where you can click on it. And I think I will place a small link into this video to go into my Gumroad shop. But if you see this video and want to visit maybe my, my official website, there is a link to my Gumroad shop too. And my website is uh, www.christoph-werner.de for Germany DE. Anyway, um, I will blend the link maybe here in the lower part of my video. Good, so that's for today. I hope you like my material here, my bubble. And yeah, as you can see, you can do a lot of very interesting things here. And yeah, I hope you have a lot of fun and can use it in your own project. So have a nice day and uh, we will see us back sometime. Bye bye.